you think of football, you probably think of players and coaches, but there's plenty of other folks who work very hard to make all these games happen. That's right, and they seldom get recognition. News Channel 1's Lauren St. Germain tells us about one of the people you just don't usually see. The turf on Finley Stadium is painted and the bleachers are ready, but something is not. The helmets. I was never very good at playing it, so I kind of had to figure out a way to stay with the game. Billy Wilson isn't under a helmet. We want to look as best as I can, so that's kind of the first step is getting them clean. But without him? Make sure all the uh, screws are tight, chin strap is good, there's no tears. Who knows what the Mox football team would look like? Then we'll uh, go to a stripe. A line? Make sure it's uh, straight and then just kind of pull it out from there. Stick. Everyone that dresses, so uh, for this first game we have 74. Repeat. So after the stripe, we uh, put the C's on. This is my fourth year here. Um, I've been doing it since I was in high school. So by now, Billy knows. Just really just takes some practice. That stripe looks horrible. Anytime the decals messed up, we'll go ahead and replace them. Add a few more decals and each player's number. And that's the finished product of the helmet here. This is Ricardre Bagley, our running back. Then to the player's locker. We leave everything face in. So we'll pull the shoulder pads out next. And they go up top. And any cleats they have, we'll pull out for them. Make sure they're ready. Prepping before the uniforms get sweaty. It's not as bad when it's dried out before the game. But also gathering everything afterwards. They can get a little nasty. Um, gloves help out a lot. Billy and the other equipment managers even travel with the team. We try to keep everything the same as home for them. That way they don't feel like they're on the road. The time and hours are worth it, especially when they're winning. Then right before the game, one last step. It's a superstition that they like to have. They want everything facing the field. Everything always faces the field. At Finley Stadium, Lauren St. Germain, News Channel 9. So interesting. Billy's goal is to eventually become an equipment manager at the pro level. This is his senior year at UTC. We'll have a full wrap-up of tonight's games on Fox Chattanooga at 10 and News Channel 9 at 11.